for today's video we got some more fortnite and a bunch of new information came out in regards to the survive the holidays winter event i'll leave a link to the blog post where i got all of this information in the description for those who want to go check it out for themselves so yeah the first thing i want to go over are the four new heroes Starting on the far left, you have Fragment Flurry Jess, who's a Reclaimer, and she's a Fragment Specialist with an Energy Beam Equipped Teddy, who can charge their abilities by defeating enemies in combat. Next to her, you have Blitz and Base Kyle, who's a Warden, and he heals himself during melee combat, has Hardware Weapon Boost, and has a base that regenerates the health of allies who stand inside of it. Directly to the right of him, you have the Snow Stalker Jonesy, who's a Demolisher, and he specializes in fighting crowds of enemies with explosive shells and grenades that regenerate more quickly in combat. And to the far right, you have Sarah Klaus, who's an Alchemist, and she gradually regenerates health through melee combat while wearing down enemies with corrosion. So those are the four new heroes, as well as the new hero types, that are going to be available in the holiday event. I did want to quickly mention a couple of ways you can get these heroes. You can get the legendary version of Sarah Klaus from the event store, which I'm going to go over next. You can get legendary Kyle as a reward from one of the quests, and you can get epic versions of Jonesy and Jess as rewards from the quest as well. So you may want to keep that in mind before you start spending your in-game currency at the event store. These are a couple of the ways you can get the new heroes. There's also going to be a fifth new hero called Raider Nomad, and he's a new shotgun focused soldier hero, but the only way to unlock him is to get to level 100 in the collection book. Another thing I wanted to go over before we get into the new event store are the new weapons. And there's going to be three winnery weapons. Ralphie's Revenge is a low damage sniper rifle with a massive headshot multiplier. And that's going to be available in the event store. The Frostbite is a winnery sniper rifle that deals water damage. And it gets a damage bonus after headshot streaks. And that can be earned completing survival mission quests. And there's also a snowball launcher which fires snowballs that damage and snare groups of enemies and that's gonna be available from the Winter Storyline quest. There's also a total of nine vacuum tube weapons. I'm not sure why there's only eight in this picture, but there is a total of nine vacuum tube weapons. The one that isn't in the picture is a sniper rifle and it fires a long range, high damage, continuous beam of lightning. There's also an auto pistol, which is a shorter range lightning beam pistol. There's a revolver, which fires powerful zaps of lightning that damage and stun foes. There's an assault rifle, which is a semi-auto rifle with a good amount of impact that stuns enemies. There's a shotgun that discharges three quick short range bursts of lightning. There's also an axe sword and a spear, which are heavy electrified melee weapons that stun enemies rather than knocking them back. And there's also a ball lightning launcher, which fires three balls of lightning that damage and stun enemies in a large radius. So yeah, there's going to be a total of three winnery weapons and nine vacuum tube weapons, which makes a total of 12 new weapons. Obviously, I'm going to try to get some gameplay of each of these. Let me know which of these you would like to see gameplay of first. Now, the next thing I want to go over is the event store, and this can be found under the loot tab under the event section. The event section has items available for the current major events, and the weekly section has new items to check out every week. These items can be purchased with new currency, seasonal gold, and daily coins. Seasonal gold can be earned by playing any mission. The drop rate scales with difficulty and daily coins can be earned by completing daily quests. So looking at this picture, again, if you go to the loot tab and then go to the event section, you can see the event items on the left, the weekly items on the right. For those who are wondering what those flux items are on the far right, those are going to be used to upgrade the rarity of your heroes. And again, play any mission and you'll be able to earn seasonal gold, which is the currency that's used to purchase these items. And the items that are in the weekly section are going to rotate weekly. There's also going to be a new repeatable quest that gives seasonal gold every time you manage to take out a mini boss in a successful mission. They also mentioned a couple of other things in regards to the mini bosses. They're super tough versions of the Husk, Husky, and Smashers that have up to four randomized gameplay modifiers attached. They can appear in many different mission types indicated by new mini boss mission alerts that appear on the theater map. 
These new mission alerts will reward event tickets. Up to 10 can be completed each day. And mutant storms are also present on the map to provide evolution materials, but they do not reward event tickets. Mini bosses will also appear in the survival mode. Now, as for the holiday survival event, we're gonna have to help Ray bring the holiday spirit to everyone in the husk ridden world in this new event quest line. We're gonna have to earn snowflake tickets by participating in the event. We'll receive mission alert updates for the duration of the holiday event. Survival llamas are available for purchase. They're gonna cost 1,000 snowflake tickets. And when it comes to your storm tickets, every 1,000 is gonna be converted into a storm llama. All the rest are gonna be lost. So the mutant storm event will end when this new holiday event begins. I've already mentioned the new winter survival map. I've already gone over how we're going to be given the ability to skip the day by voting. There's only going to be three and seven days. There's going to be new generators. Vendor Tech upgraded the traditional generators. They are more resilient but cannot be fixed in the field. Generator placement spots are going to differ from game to game, which is going to add some variety. Expect the mini boss to drop in the fight on days three and day seven. Snowflake tickets will also be able to continue to be earned during survival mode after the mission alert quota has been reached, but at a much smaller rate, which is great news for those who can't do 10 missions every day and have to do as many missions as they can on days when they have time to play. So I think that's really good news being able to earn snowflake tickets even after you reach your quota. And there's also gonna be new holiday survival banners, which they didn't show any images of. The new hero rarity feature is also gonna be in this new update. And there's gonna be a tutorial quest for upgrading your hero's rarity. In order to unlock the rarity of your hero, you're first gonna have to unlock the skill node in the skill tree. So let's say for example, you wanna upgrade your hero to a two star level. If you unlock the two star constructor evolution node in the first skill tree, it's also gonna unlock the promotions node as well, which is gonna allow you to upgrade the rarity of your constructor heroes. They also went over a couple of bug fixes, as well as a couple of minor changes made to the drone salvage, as well as the storm chest. When it comes to the UI, you'll be given the ability to spin your hero 360 degrees. And the last thing I wanted to go over were some of the new enemies. Uh, if you look in this image, you can see the Santa Sploder. You can also see the new Lobber, as well as the new Husk, which looks like he has an elf outfit on. And I've mentioned this before, but I'm gonna go ahead and quickly mention it again. We'll be able to manage our storage with our new global inventory. We'll be able to access our inventory from the menu without having to load into a mission, which I know a lot of people have been looking forward to. We won't be able to craft as of yet, but they say that it is coming soon. Anyways, let me know which of the four new heroes are you looking forward to playing with the most? Let me know which of those heroes you would like to see gameplay of first. Also, let me know which of the new weapons you would like to see gameplay of as well. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.